Yay! Oh! <laughs> hey, Eric! Hi, Okay, so this is the place we're gonna sleep tonight. Uh, I'll show you how. Uh, we're gonna make a lean-to shelter from this uh, tree on to the other side. And uh, we'll have our heads about here, our feet downwards. We'll have a fire about where I stand. Uh, we're also gonna make one lean-to from this tree to this tree. It goes down like that. Okay, so the frame is starting to come together, as you see here. And uh, I've supported this tree over us with uh, a branch. Uh, I will uh, need one more because it's a quite heavy tree and it's a quite small uh, uh, branch under it. So I will support this with uh, one more branch. And this is so the tree doesn't fall on us when we're sleeping. This is very important to do if you choose a tree that's lying down like this. And one thing you really shouldn't do is to be on the other side of the, of the fallen tree by the roots. Because this tree can actually rise up again. And if you're lying down there you will get smushed and you will die. And that's not good. Okay, now we're going to put the, start putting the uh, spruce branches on the shelter. Uh, you want to start from uh, below and work yourself up. Uh, you also want to put them like they are hanging from the tree because that way the water uh, slides off much easier. So when we're out like this, we don't want to kill the trees. And you will kill the trees if you take off too many branches in the wrong way. The right way to do it is to leave 
about 10 centimeters from the base of the tree uh, and that way we won't kill the tree so just about 10 centimeters like this and we can take almost as much branches as we want without killing the tree Hello Emma. Hi. What you doing? Uh, I'm building a little uh, mini shelter for us to sit in tonight by the fire. Uh, myself and Emil, since we won't be sleeping here. Just a little somewhere to a bench and a bit of shelter from the rain and wind and weather. That's what I'm doing. It looks awesome. Thank you. And here is the new guy who's come with us today. Hey Emil, how's yeah. it going? Uh, well. What do you think about this forest and be outside on a Saturday? It's a little bit weird. <laughs> <laughs> but it's, it's uh, clearly fun, so we will see. Awesome. I've started with the lying bench. We'll have one layer more. I'm gonna keep uh, piling branches on that way to get up and to make a small pocket between us and the ground. On this I will have spruce branches and uh, over that we will have foam on the lace and uh, we also will have sleeping bags so it's it will be warm enough. Hello guys. Hello. What's going on? You having lunch? Lunch break. Oh, it looks amazing. How's it going? Awesome. So we dug down 10 to 15 centimeters for our fireplace, we have some stones around it. Uh, the ground is uh, very wet but uh, it will dry out and uh, especially now when we have uh, our shelter between trees and stuff there's a lot of roots so you need to dig down, uh, take some of them uh, away and then place stones. Timber, that tree was dead as a doornail and it's uh, really dry and it still has the smell of uh, sap uh, we, and those trees you really want to look for. They burn really good and really long. The flint push it down in the middle of the pile and scrape. Now take the help part hold them over the fire and when they start to burn you can put them down like this
Don't stress the fire. The easiest way is just to take everything slow and steady. There you go. We got the fire. Yay! Yay! <laughs> what? I'm uh, making a gin and tonic. Okay, sounds nice. Waiting for Eric. He arrived back home a few hours ago, so he should be here by now. Um, and he doesn't really know where we are. So what he's been told is to go to a place I don't know, a few hundred meters from here, and howl like a wolf. Um, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so that's what we're waiting for. And we're making sticks. We brought sausages, so we're gonna barbecue some sausages to eat. So we're just making some sticks to. To grill them with. Oh, Linda's here. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> oh! <laughs> hey, Eric. Hi, guys. How are you? I'm good. How was the trip? It was good. Wet? Yeah, kind of. <laughs> there <it> is. <laughs> oh, you look like you shaved and stuff. Yeah, spring cleaning. Oh, wow. <laughs> I know. <laughs> this looks awesome. This is awesome. Do you want a gin and tonic? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Come join us. Hello. Hello. Are you cold, Eric? Not right now, actually. Now I'm really comfortable. 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 Are you cold? No. Are you comfortable? I'm very comfortable. <laughs> Hello Eric. Hello. How's it going? <laughs> Ready for sleep. Yeah, I can see that. It's gonna be awesome. Yeah. I will join you in half an hour or so. Alright. Good I'll night, buddy. Good night. Sweet dreams. Sweet dreams. There we go, we got three big logs on the fire and this will keep us warm for, yeah, this one maybe two to three hours. We have some extra wood right beside us that would just throw on if we wake up freezing. Uh, yeah, that way we don't have to leave our sleeping bags. Just throw on the, the things on our sides and then we're good to go for another couple of hours. And uh, yeah. I really think we will be warm and cozy tonight. So guys, see you tomorrow and good night. So it's been snowing a bit during the night. This is what we woke up to. So I'm going to go see if the guys are still sleeping. Yeah. <laughs> it's been snowing. Yeah. The 
snow kind of killed the fire. All right. Hopefully, it didn't warm enough. And Eric has two sleeping bags tonight, so that's a he's. Yeah, he looks fast asleep. Yeah. Fire is burning again, thanks to Emma. Very good job. Did not take long time at all. It's a little warrior this one. Our night was amazing, babe. Yeah, I think so too. Yeah. Yeah, I couldn't have slept any better. I think. It's dry. Dry, warm, cozy. Not sleeping on any rocks. So yeah. We're good. Yeah. Hello guys. I'm going down to the water to take a uh, bath. survival situation try not ever walking out on the ice that's just a big big risk when it's like now I don't know how cold it is maybe minus 5 10 about that so it's still pretty warm but it's a bit windy and all, all that okay so come with me My head isn't under, but it's going to be. Think, cool down, get your so you can speak again. Then and now, I want to go up the same way I got into. And you can follow my tracks, they are here, and now I'm going to get up. I take off my spikes and I grab them as long as far as possible, and now I will kick a lot with, with my legs. About five meters. And now the th uh, ice will be thick enough for, for me to stand. This is fr this is a bit frisky. <laughs> oh! Usually better than to tying my shoelaces than now, but it works. Oh. And I'm, now I have my warm clothing on, now I'm gonna run, and I'm gonna run for about one kilometers, 
Now I just uh, focus on getting my heat up from the inside and out. So I'll do that and be back in about one kilometer or so. See you soon. Now I'm running for about one kilometer. But it's so hard to get your temperature up. At least it's so hard to get your warm blood out to your hands and to your feet. So now I will just try to get it out to my hands and to my feet. Okay, so I'm by the fire now, my hands are warm, my feet are warm, my body is warm. Uh, I'm waiting for my pine needle tea, which is down there. So I'm ready. I will just uh, sit by the fire for uh, 10 minutes, maybe more. Uh, see if I start to lose my temperature again. If I do, I keep running, do my laps. Uh, but uh, yeah, it's uh, soon time for me to start gathering some firewood because I'm gonna be here for another couple of days. So yeah, that's the plan. Thank you. You're welcome. Uh, okay, so now I got my pine tea, pine needle tea. Uh, pine needle tea is rich in uh, C vitamin and sugars, so I will get a little bit of a sugar kick here and I will feel, feel all the C vitamins uh, like pushing through my body, that's awesome. Alright Adam, good luck, All right. see you in three days. Yep, see you in three days. Good luck buddy. Don't Bye. do anything stupid. <laughs> yeah, likewise. <laughs> So, it's only me left now, uh, Emma, Clint and uh, Eric just left, I'm gonna stay here for at least two nights and three days, it's Sunday now, uh, the time is about uh, 11.30 and I'm gonna stay here to Tuesday. Uh, the next video I'm gonna focus more about the survival, so I won't have any food, uh, I have a limited uh, water uh, with me and uh, I will show you a lot of different ways to clean water uh, might do some ice fishing and yeah thanks for watching and uh, see you on the next video guys <laughs>